Are you looking for an easy chicken breast recipe that is covered in a crunchy pecan and pretzel coating and then drizzled with honey? A healthy baked chicken recipe that is impressive enough to make for a dinner party or special holiday gathering. Hey there, I'm London Brazil from EvolvingTable.com where you'll learn how to make nourishing meals for your loved ones. And that healthy recipe today is this pretzel pecan honey chicken. For the majority of my childhood, I spent a ton of hours at the dance studio practicing on the competition team. From ballet, tap, jazz, gymnastics, and clogging, Yes, y'all, I did clogging. Please don't judge me for some of these outfits here. Every summer we would have a big banquet at the local country club. And the thing I remember the most was this chicken that was covered in this crunchy pecan coating and then drizzled with a ton of honey. So recently I had a few girlfriends over and I tried to recreate that nostalgic dish. And y'all, OMG, it is out of this world delicious, maybe even better than I remember it as a kid. So I wanted to make sure you had this chicken recipe in your back pocket for the next time you have some guests coming over and you wanna impress them a little bit. So if you're ready to get to cooking, come on in and let's get started. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We'll first start off by preparing one pound of chicken breast. First, cover them with a piece of wax or parchment paper to prevent any of the chicken juices from splattering all over your kitchen. And then simply pound them to one inch thick with a meat mallet. Cut chicken breast into four ounce portions. Next, we're gonna get the pecans and the pretzels ready. For this, you can either use a smaller mini prep food processor, or you can use a larger 10 to 12 cup food processor. Since we won't be working with a large amount of ingredients, I'll be sticking with a smaller food processor today. Add 2 thirds cup of raw pecans to the food processor. Pulse until pecans are finely chopped. For the pretzels, I'll be using <gasps> gluten-free pretzel twist. If you don't happen to be gluten-free, you can always just use a regular pretzel instead. Add one and a fourth cups of pretzels to the processor and pulse until pretzels resemble a coarse crumb. You should end up with about two thirds cup of crushed pretzels. Now that our pecans and pretzels are ready, it's time to set up our assembly line. To get a really good thick coating on chicken breast, there is a three bowl process that works great every single time. In the first shallow bowl, you will add one fourth cup of flour or a gluten-free one-to-one -one flour blend, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and one eighth teaspoon of pepper. Whisk until well combined. In the second bowl, whisk together one egg with one tablespoon of milk. Cashew and almond milk work great too. In the third bowl, mix together the pretzels and pecans. We've got our cut and prepared chicken, the three bowls of coating ingredients, and now we just need a large 13 by nine inch baking dish that has been sprayed with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. Dip each chicken breast in the flour mixture, dredge in the egg wash, and then coat completely in the pretzel pecan mixture. Repeat with remaining chicken breast and place coated chicken in a large baking dish. Top each with half a tablespoon of butter. If you're preparing these ahead of time for a dinner party, this is a great place to stop. Simply refrigerate up to 24 hours in advance and proceed as directed. But if you're ready to get to cooking this today, simply pop it into your preheated 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. To check for doneness, place a meat thermometer into the thickest part of the chicken and cook until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Our chicken is done baking and look at that crispy and crunchy pretzel and pecan coating. But wait, aren't we forgetting something? Just before serving, drizzle half of a tablespoon of honey on each of the chicken breast. Or a little bit more if you like it on the sweet side. I'm getting so excited because I know what comes next. It's my turn to take a little taste test. Oh yeah. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, that salty from the pretzels mixed together with the sweet 
from the honey. I bet your friends and family will go absolutely nuts when you make this recipe for them. And I'm so excited to share it with a few of my girlfriends tonight at a dinner party. If you liked what you saw here today, make sure you check out these other healthy chicken recipes. And don't forget to give it a big ol' thumbs up below. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another nourishing meal to serve your loved ones. See you again soon.